now we are going to solve a problem wherein a beam with uh, a hinged uh, support at one end and a roller support at another end is loaded with a force of 1000 newtons per meter and it is made up of a rectangular cross section of uh, 10 by 10 mm diameters sorry uh, dimensions and this uh, 1000 mm is the length of the beam so we are going to model this particular problem and we are going to plot a shear force and bending moment diagram for this uh, particular problem using ANSYS so I am opening the ANSYS product launcher and I have given the job name as distributed loading and I press on run so that ANSYS ABDL will open so now this is also a static structural problem so I go to preferences say stat structural and press ok and I go to preprocessor element type add edit delete add and I am going to select a beam and I am going to select 20188 beam element and press ok now I will close this one and I go to the material properties material models and from the question you can see it is made up of solid steel we know the Engs modulus for steel is 200 GPA and the Engs uh, poison ratio is a uh, 0.3 so we go to the structural linear elastic isotropic and we enter 2e5 2e5 in MPA and we are going to enter 0.3 for poison ratio Newton per mm square and go to material say exit now I go to sections here uh, unlike the last problem where they have given the area of the cross section as 3250 here uh, they have specified the uh, bar is made up of a rectangular cross section with dimension 10 by 10 mm so now we need to go to the sections uh, go to the beam and go to the common sections and here you need to give the name in order to identify what type of section it is say it is a rectangular section Se uh, rectangular section so I have given the name a rectangle REC then uh, uh, see here is the shape of this uh, particular uh, section so I am going to give the breadth as 10 and height as 10 it is specified in the question itself and press ok now I go to modeling say create key points in active coordinate system and I will type in 1 and I am going to create the key point 1 at 0 comma 0 or the origin press apply and the second one the length of the beam is 1000 mm so I will uh, type in 1000 in the x coordinate and press ok so we have created the key points now we need to go to the lines select lines and I want to create a straight line so I select the line and I select these two points in order to create a line now we have created the geometric model now we need to mesh it to convert it into a finite element model so go to the meshing go to mesh uh, sorry mesh tool you can select mesh tool and say line set you can uh, select recall and uh, instead of giving number of element divisions I am going to give the element edge length as 100 mm and press ok that means this is total length is 1000 mm now it will be converted into 10 elements each of 100 mm in length so I will press right hidden and now I will press the mesh and I select this line and press ok so the now meshing is done and I go I am again pressing the right hidden and I am closing this mesh tool now I am going to apply the loads on boundary conditions so I go to the loads define loads apply apply as a structural and I am going to apply the pressure load first then afterwards I am going to give the boundary conditions so I am going to apply the pressure on all the beams so I will select on beams and say pick all pick all now for see apply pressure you need to change the load key by default the load key will be 1 that means whatever pressure you are going to apply you are going to apply in the z direction but I want it uh, I want to apply the pressure in the y direction so what I am going to do is I am going to change this uh, load key to 2 and here I am going to give the value as 1 so if I divide this into the if I divide the total loading by area we get 1 so 1 Newton per mm square 
so that is why I am entering 1 here and I want to leave it as a constant or uniformly distributed load so I will not enter any value here in the 0 and I press ok then I am going to go to displacement on key points and press here here and select the key point 1 here you should be careful enough this is a hinge joint that means you are going to constrain motion in the three directions translatory motion in the three directions but you are going to constrain the rotary motion in rotation motion in only x and y axis you know the z axis the rotation will be free so you need to select ux uy and uz and rotation x and rotation y only and you need to leave it free rotation z need it need to leave it free and say apply now you select this particular key point and press ok now uh, here it is a roller support that means rotations and everything are free the only constant things are uz ui and uz so you are going to select only ui and uz and press ok now we have finished applying all the uh, required boundary conditions and other things press on save db then uh, go to solution say solve current close step press ok and the solution is done now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the general post processing plot results deform or shape I will set deform plus undeformed edge see the white line is a uh, undeformed uh, a beam and this is an uh, deformed shape beam and the maximum is in 77.01 this particular units are in mm now what I am going to do is I want to see what are all the stresses uh, uh, that are present inside this beam for this you need to go to the plot controls say style and go to size and shape here uh, you display of element you press switch it on press ok now you can see uh, it has a, the you can see the beam as a rectangular solid then you go to the contour plot go to nodal solution then uh, in the nodal solution go to stresses and then set the one meter stresses and press ok see you have got a plot of uh, these stresses and you can see that the maximum amount of stresses are occurring at the middle of the beam and uh, the contours uh, display the this all contours show different values of stresses that are present inside the beam now what I am going to do is I am going to to plot the shear force uh, diagram and the bending moment diagram for this particular beam for that purpose I will again change my view to front view then uh, I will go to the element tables say define table add and uh, for my identification I will say sfd at ith node and by sequence number and I will select smisc e and in the SMIC I will press 6 and apply now again I will uh, type in SFD at J and uh, Jth node and by sequence number I will type in SMISC I will type in uh, 16 sorry 19 and press apply so then again I want to this two are useful for uh, plotting the shear force diagram now I'm going to uh, set up bending moment uh, diagram so BM I I will type in BMI and by sequence number and uh, you need to enter SMIC you need to enter 3 and plus apply then again BM J by sequence number you need to type in uh, 16 that's okay so what are all these numbers so go to the help so how can you find all these numbers to type in so once you go to the help just here in the search bar just type in beam 188 and press on this search so you will get this search results you press on this beam 188 and just scroll down and you will find it elemental table inputs So here in order to plot the shear force uh, diagram the sequence numbers is SMISC the item is SMISC and the numbers are 16 and 19 in order to get the bending moment you need to have this 3 and 16 the ith node we need to define 3 number at the jth node it, uh, the defined number is 16 so this is how you can find out uh, what are the 
uh, numbers and what is the item you need to select in the elemental table so I have uh, taken all these uh, things so I will close this one and now what I will do is uh, I will go to the plot results and go to contour plot and uh, go to line element residual results and in that I will select SFDI and in the second one I will select SFDJ and press OK so now we are going to see a shear force diagram so this is the shear force diagram for this particular beam now in order to plot the bending moment diagram go to the line element results and instead of SFI, SFDI you can say BMI as well as BMJ and press OK so this is the uh, bending moment diagram for this particular uh, beam so with this uh, we have finished this particular problem you can press save db say file exit and you can say save everything and press ok so 